Welcome to the Art Center Library Tutorials. In this video, I will show you a few key functions of our Luna image resource. Luna works very similar to one of our other online resources, ArtStore Digital Library. You can check out a link to that tutorial in our description. Now I'm going to skip through the steps you would normally take to access our online resources, but if you're unfamiliar with those steps, we have a link in the description on how to access your account. I have also created some additional videos on Luna Media Groups and presentations that we talk about in the video. You can find those links in the description too. Now let's get started. From the online resource page, there are three ways you can get to Luna. You can select the letter Al and scroll down to the Luna resource. You can enter the name of the resource on the search box in the upper right, or you can select Luna from our popular databases. Because I've already logged in, I'm just going to go to the Luna homepage. But it would normally ask you to log in with your Inside Art Center username and password. Once you're in the Luna homepage, you will see some images of a selected collection in the center of the page. You can browse all, or you can browse by the category pages in the center of the page. You can browse all collections or select a specific collection on the left column. You can also search by keyword in the upper right search box. I'm going to select browse all to show you what it looks like. Because I had the Art Center Visual Resource Collection selected, the Browse All function is showing the 52,979 images that are available in that collection. On the left, you can refine your search by what type of image, where it is, who is associated with the image, or where was the image produced or created. You can also select Advanced Search to add multiple search criteria. Now I'm going to go back to the home page and show you a few more things about Luna. Under the Explore heading, you can look at your media groups, your presentations, you can perform external media search, and you can view your workspace. You can also browse all or browse categories here too. You won't be using the My Uploads because we are not able to upload items. So if you were to select media groups, for instance, you will see a list of media groups that are public on the right that you can view or search by keyword and or username. On the left, you will see the list of your media groups you've created. You can also search by keyword, or you can create a new media group or create a folder. If you want to know more about the media groups, I recommend checking out a tutorial on Luna Media Groups in the description. Next, we're going to go to take a look at presentations. In this page, you will see some public presentations on the right. You can also search by keyword and or username. On the left, you will see the presentations that you have created, or you can also search by keyword. You can create a new presentation, or you can create a new folder for any of the images you find. I will have a link in the description for viewing and creating presentations. Now, if you wanted to search additional images outside of these collections, you can select the external media search to view images from Flickr. Here you can search by keyword and or Flickr username. So I'm going to type in a keyword. So once you find an image you like, you can select the add button in the upper right of that image. So say I choose this image here, I click on the little add button, and it will add it to one of my media groups. Just a little note, when adding images to a media group, it will add them to your active media group. So you will have to move the image to the proper folder later. Now let's go back. Under the Create heading, you can create a media group, you can create a presentation, and if you want to know more about those, check out the links in our description. Now unfortunately, we don't have access to uploading, so you can just ignore that function. You can also share your media groups, presentations, and images you find under the Share heading. Just make sure you're viewing your media groups or presentation if you want to share those. Or you can share specific images or collections that you find. Just select the share button and it will provide a URL that you can copy and paste. So this is a very introductory tutorial on some of the aspects of Luna. As I mentioned, if you want to know more on using media groups or presentations, I recommend you view our tutorials in the description. If you have any questions about Luna or any other online resources, you can email us at library at artcenter.edu. You can contact the front desk or speak with one of our liaison librarians. Thank you.